what is up my dogs lost in here hope you guys are uh, staying safe and well out there with all the coronavirus nonsense going on we are trying to get after some big fish today through the net once loaded the live well up with mullet it rarely happens that way what when it does it is sure nice to not have to work too hard for bait so we're gonna rig up a meat stick see if we can catch a big giant snook or maybe a big old jack craval on some live mullet that is the game plan i am fired up right now i'm kind of in the mindset right now i don't know if i'll be able to fish next week we might be under full quarantine lockdown across the whole entire u.s so you got to get out while the getting's good it's a weird thing being out here man because everyone's supposed to be off work and it's kind of cool. There's a lot of people out enjoying the water, enjoying the outdoors. There's 30 times more people walking with their kids and their dogs, and people are just out enjoying nature and solace, and that's cool. But I'm gonna rig up and tackle into a big snoop. <laughs> Preparing for battle here. How good is living? Having a beverage? Got a lot of mullet on the line. We're approaching some walls. Hopefully we're gonna tackle into a big in here. Snook right here in front of me. I got eaten up underneath that pontoon boat. I thought I was freaking stuck on it. I got freaking hammered. Oh, it's a good fish. What the hell? I thought I was stuck on the pontoon boat. Holy crap. Oh, oh this is a strong fish. Oh man. Oh. I literally thought I was stuck on the pontoon boat. Big snook. Oh my gosh. That was insane. I seriously thought I was snagged. And I snapped my hook and all of a sudden my line started taking off. He literally must have just went and inhaled that mullet. Oh my gosh. This is why you use heavy tackle oh. oh man you gotta be kidding me now that is not a bad way to start the morning right there I bet he's 32 33 oh my gosh I can't believe I freaking caught that fish he was just hiding underneath a boat and just hammered that mullet <laughs> that is incredible what a thick beautiful healthy fish i'm like kind of like i'm like really hyped but i'm in shock more than anything i just did not expect that at all what a stud Look at how thick that fish is across the back. I mean, such a good fish. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of in disbelief right there. Oh. And I see another nice snook underneath this boat right here. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. 
that was about a 25, 26 inch snook just came up and gave them all a schlock and Oh, I just got swirled on big time. Something just ate it underneath the thing. Another fish again. Under the... This is a big... Oh, he just broke me off. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. I just watched my mullet come up to the surface in the back, so... Oh. Damn it. Oh. That's what you get. We're just cruising down another canal, flipping mullet. I will say one weird thing, man. The bites today that I've gotten, I've only had a few. They've been mega, mega subtle. Like, I never even feel a thump. I just, all of a sudden, my line's just, like, tight and moving. I don't know what that means. But it does not make it easy. That is for sure. I'm on top of the cooler. We're just looking to see if we can see any suspended fish. In the meanwhile, we're just blind casting, pitching around little docks and these little floating ramps that seem to be holding a lot of fish on them. We'll see. Already off to a good start. I'm hoping we can tackle them to maybe one or two more big, big boys. That would be epic. I have to see a snook right here after I've just thrown this very far out. I don't see him anymore, but I definitely saw one swimming around over here. Oh, that was very quick. Something hit him the second he landed. I just got hit. I don't know if he got it or not. He's all the way into that boat. Not an overwhelmingly big snook, but there's a snook chasing my mullet through the engine right now. That's sick. He's still under it. Corraling him right to the wall. He's just not a very big snook. He'll have a hard time eating this thing. <laughs> My like hope at the moment is maybe there's a big snook around that'll hear this going down and just come over and clobber this mullet or something. This is like an 18 inch snook just beating the living crap out of this mullet. I think he might, oh, okay. I was gonna say I thought he gave up, but I guess not. Okay, he gave up now. I can see him swimming away. That was hilarious. I just let that mullet drag all the way underneath that boat. I got like, <laughs> Two mullet left, we're gonna see what we can make do with them and then grab lunch. But hopefully we can use those last two baits and put them to good use. All right, let's go get some grub. There's a nice snook just sitting right underneath this dock right here. I mean, he is in like just seven inches of water. Let's see what happens. That's what happens. Oh. <laughs> 